forward. Sorry, I'll start all over again. So um, we're here for our first owning um, your, your market as a virtual agent. Um, and my guest is Bill Hillstead. Uh, Bill is my social media and mar marketing and, and uh, branding mentor. And for those of you that didn't know me prior to um, me coming to Fairway, um, I was at Lone Depot for three years, loved it there. And, um, you know, everyone was just wonderful to me. I had a great boss and um, I managed to, you know, really build on my reputation, but it really wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't have any kind of leadership that was helping uh, my team grow. And when we were approached by Ryan Grant, um, Ryan, oh, we had five or six meetings with him and I kept, you know, wanting to hear more, but it was just super reluctant to move because I was, you know, making money and I was comfortable. But Ryan had mentioned Bill to me and kind of told me a little bit about his bona fides. And I asked Ryan, um, would you mind if we did a conference call with Bill? So Ryan uh, arranged it. And after about 10 minutes listening to Bill, I looked over at Shane and I said, we're quitting Home Depot and we're, we're coming over to Fairway because I was just so excited to have um, a mentor like what, and at the time, by the way, Bill did not really commit to working with me personally, like, um, and, and, you know, he, he was going to help me and he, but he wasn't necessarily going to show me anything. He said, yeah, yeah, I'll show you a little bit, but I was like, okay, well I'm in. So, um, like a long story short, uh, we came and, uh, you know, after we got our feet centered in, uh, in fairway, um, Bill had talked with, um, with Ryan and with Zach and, you know, they, he needed to start somewhere and Zach had told, um, told uh, Bill, you know, I think you should probably work with this guy, Barry, because um, he's pretty good at social media. And so Bill, when we finally reconnected again, Bill's like, he goes, I almost didn't do this because you're too easy. He said, uh, you know, um, I think, uh, you know, we can make you a household name in, in Orange County. And you know, and most importantly, he said, uh, I believe that you're somebody who I'll teach and will actually take direction. So that's what got me here, what got Shane and I here, and Shane's up with us, by the way, too. Um, and so I'm just going to, instead of wasting your time yakking, um, it's, we're six minutes into it. I want to make the most out of your guys' time, and I cannot wait for you to listen to what uh, Bill has to say he has taken uh, real estate teams in the United States and uh, made their business grow exponentially and I'll let him do a few name drops to tell you some of the teams that he helped grow but Bill thank you so much for joining us and um, if you guys have questions I do have you unmuted but I asked just chat and then I'll I'll pick the right times to go in there and ask Bill so Bill take it away <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm Barry, jump in. Guide me. As you know, there's, uh, you know, two days worth of this stuff. And if you want to dive deep on anything specific, uh, uh, you know, the virtual real estate side of things, uh, uh, which seems to be really killing it for us right now, um, have some companies that are going deep on the how to show homes virtually uh, and reaching out to the world and saying, you know, Here's how we can show you homes without you having to take any risks. That one happens to be really effective. Uh, got a company in Texas called Avo. If you go to Avo Virtual and look what they're doing, it might even be another fun training sometime, how to do the virtual home showings. Um, uh, up on my own page, I have some tutorials on that, but that kind of stuff. But in general, uh, uh, all of this stuff, whether it's like this, this is lead gen campaigns. And I you know, make the point that Facebook's kind of like a knob you can turn for all the business you want. If you look at the leads, 2,400, 493, 14, 
85, uh, literally when I set up clients, it's just how much business do you want? These aren't leads like, and that's why I cross out the word leads. Leads that you buy, leads that come from other sources, those are just, you know, flaky, cynical strangers who won't return your phone call and are condescending and wear you out and go with somebody else in the 11th hour anyway. Now I want warm connections. <clears throat> and that's everything I do is always based on relationships and connections. Period. I've been doing this forever. Uh, a true story. 1995, one too many cocktails one night. And the next day I wake up and I own half of a little bitty mortgage brokerage in Westlake Village, California. Seven loan officers who had collectively done 34 million the year before. And by the way, I know nothing about loans or real estate or anything else. I was just doing lead gen in the space and don't have to know it to generate the phone calls. Those seven loan officers had done 34 million the year before in 94. Uh, we started July 7th of 95 and our first calendar year, 96, they did 262 million. Uh, by 98, those same seven people were up to 512 million. And the irony of all this was that I started with quote lead gen farm. That's what they called it. But I don't care about leads. I care about databases. To me, it's there's only two marketing functions. You're growing a database or you're nurturing one. You're making new connections or strengthening existing ones. I'm all about the brand. I want people to do business with you because they know, like, and trust you. So I generated leads. That's what they thought they were. But for me, I was growing databases. Nobody had databases, not proper databases. So I did that from July of 95 when we started till April of 96 and then pulled the plug. That's it. You don't need any more leads. They were panicked. I mean, panicked. And with no leads from April on, they managed to take it up to 262 million between the seven of them. It's all about brand. It's all about relationship. That's all the focus uh, uh, for me. Probably easiest to highlight that here. Let me just share. Uh, there we go. Uh, hopefully my desktop is sharing. You can see this. It's where business comes from. It is. Bill. Putting an R. The what was that? We can see what you're uh, pointing out. Oh, good. So uh, <laughs> according to NAR, last year you guys spent fourteen billion dollars out of your own pockets, not corporate spend, individual agent spend, fourteen billion dollars, and it generated up there in the red eleven and a half percent of your business. Meanwhile. Personal referrals, professional referrals, repeat business, that's 67% of your business, two-thirds of it. You throw in social media, networking functions, website, anything that we consider branding, making people feel like they know you or making them remember you, that's 78% of your business comes from your brand. People want to work with somebody they're familiar with. Uh, uh, nothing even comes close. And whenever I present this, the same thought always goes through everybody's head, which is, yeah, true for me. Most of my business comes from friends, referrals, past clients, whatever, but I need more business. I already get that. That's why I want leads because I already get all that business. And I just have to point out that we're a little bit delusional when it comes to just how memorable we are. We think we get it. In fact, 86% of buyers and sellers say they like their agents so much that they would refer them or reuse them. But at the end of the day, 10.2% ever actually do. In fact, when polled 12 months after the closing of a transaction, only 26% can even remember your name. They remember you. They remember your car. They remember riding around. If they saw you at a you know function, they'd come up and say hi. But they can't even remember your name, much less refer you or remember how to get in touch with you again if they needed you. Being remembered is hands down the most important function that I can perform when it comes to the marketing world. So promise one, use these techniques and you will never, ever, ever be forgotten by somebody again. It'll never happen. Anybody you meet, anybody you've ever met, forget database, uh, uh, old school CRM stuff. That nah, doesn't cut it. We can't ever keep those up to date. Numbers are changing. Addresses are changing. We don't put half the people or even a quarter of the people we meet into our database. Nope. We're going to show you how to stay in front of everybody, everybody all the time uh, so that you're never forgetting, uh, forgetting, forgotten. So the, at the end of the day, that's just the remembrance part. But I'll take it a step further. Promise too is if you'll do this and stick with it for even 90 days. 
you'll be the best known agent in your marketplace, period, bar none, end of story. Can't guarantee you'll be number one. You might not be any good at what you do, but you'll be the best known. People will come up to you in the grocery store. Everybody who talks to you will say, oh my gosh, I see your stuff everywhere. We'll convince them that you are the biggest realtor on the face of the planet because they'll see you constantly in the right manner, in the right fashion. And that's always my goal. People don't understand when it comes to marketing, everything, everything for us comes down to the mere exposure effect. And that's the simple rule that says people like anything that's familiar to them. Probably my favorite study in this arena is where the researchers bring in the research subjects and they get there and they're like, we're not quite ready for you yet. Hang out here in the waiting room. And they put them in a waiting room and they leave them for a few minutes with a TV on the wall playing something, you know, benign, Gilligan's Island, whatever. And while they're waiting, they flash somebody's picture on the screen for five milliseconds, five one thousandths of a second. Too fast for you to even detect if you were staring at the TV. And they do that five times while you're waiting. Then they bring you in and have you go through a whole bunch of little exercises at different workstations. And that's all kind of smoke and mirrors. Because at the end, they give you a exit survey. And one of the things they ask you about is, the uh, which researchers you connected with are like the best. And the person whose picture you've seen five times for five milliseconds, you like them 76% more than you like anybody else. And it rotates, so it's not the one charismatic researcher. You, we like whoever's familiar. If I can make you familiar, and this is why old school farming, if you really and truly drop 10, 15, 20 grand a month, on billboards and shopping carts and weekly postcards and everything else. We all know the agents that do that and it's crazy expensive, but it works. If you stick with it forever, think about the radio commercials, even the, you know, every time there's a crazy mattress salesman or a jewelry person or what, every set, every city I visit in the country always has those same, and they're always on the familiar, constant. It just works. Well, the problem is, we can't be in front of everybody all the time. It's just too expensive. <clears throat> we have to narrow it down. And the reason you have some old guy teaching you about social media marketing, especially an old guy that doesn't really do social media, because it's got nothing to do with Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or anything else. It's just the fundamentals. And they've been the same since David Ogilvy first stated it back in 1950, the father of modern advertising. When he said all marketing is just reach, Frequency and impact. You got to have reach. If you don't get in front of people, it won't work. How much are you getting? How many people are you getting in front of? But you got to have frequency. You can't just hit somebody as a stranger and expect them to go, oh, look, there's a stranger I've never seen before. I think I'll call them up, list my home. It doesn't work that way. You got to have frequency, but you can't have frequency if you're trying to hit too many people. And I see this all the time. People are so excited about all their views or exposure on Facebook or look what I did or I ran this and they're a little bit here, a little bit, and they're just hitting strangers. It's all over. It's scattered. I got to hit the same people over and over and over. And then last, impact. I got to put up something that's going to make them like me. And this is where we all fall down because we all want to be the hero of our ads. We all want to sell. We just solicit, 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 and we're just put up a bunch of annoying crap that doesn't make people like us. So the strategy is really simple. I got to put up content that's valuable, content that makes me familiar to people, content that makes people like me, respect me, trust me, feel like they know me. I have to have a clearly defined target audience so that I can afford to be in front of them all the time so that they will say, oh my gosh, I see you everywhere. I got to pay some money to do this. And this is the good news, by the way everybody's out there. We've probably all seen a dozen Facebook training books, videos, whatever, that all talk about organic this and organic that. Doesn't work. Facebook has publicly declared that they're doing everything they can to make it not work. It's against their terms of service. If you get caught promoting yourself on your Facebook profile, they will delete your page. They delete over a thousand page or profiles a day for violating that term of service. And they've got thousands of PhDs that are smarter than all of us and they are working hard to make it impossible. So even if you're doing everything right organically, everything right, you're only reaching on average 16% of your friends. No frequency, it's not working. You're marketing to 16% of them and risking your overall profile getting deleted along the way. It just, it, 
doesn't work organically. The good news about the paid side, only 2% of the businesses in the world have ever run a Facebook ad. Nobody seems to understand this platform and how to use it. Even when they come in, 99% of them do it wrong and turn around and quit or fail because again, they're hitting strangers. They don't know how to create the right content. But because so few people are doing it, it's insanely cheap. In my 30 years of doing this, I can point to about $40 billion in sales that I've had a hand in generating. And I've never seen anything like it. If you said we're gonna take everything away from you, everything, you get one thing, what is it? Facebook, hands down, end of story, no questions. I have more than 10,000 page one rankings on Google. You name it, I've done it, and nothing even comes close to Facebook. And that's why I love that they charge, because it keeps all the riffraff riff -raff out. It makes it my little private domain where nobody seems to know how to compete, and it makes it insanely easy. Last frequency, if people don't see me at least three times a month, I'm forgotten. That's the minimum number of times people have to see you in order to remember you and to feel like you're familiar. And the good news with all this, the reach and frequency, as you're going to see, that's, that's a piece of cake. That's, that's guaranteed, click, click, done, boom. Now you've got 10, 20,000 views a month right people are seeing you, the frequency, it's there, the reach is there. The hard part usually ends up being the impact. What content do I put up? And by the way, when I say the frequency and the, the reach part is easy, look at this, here's Bob doing the first video of his life, scared to death, didn't want to do it, literally had to force him. And this one was a virtual reality home tour where you take, well, I think there's one behind me, one of those little virtual reality cameras, they're about 150 to 200 bucks create the whole, you know, where you can take your phone and just look around like you're inside the house. That content does better for a lot of reasons than other content. Great way to show a home, uh, uh, hold a virtual open house. They'll do Facebook lives. Facebook and YouTube have invested so much in the 360 technology that they favor this content, treat it better than others. And Bob, with a hundred dollar budget on this listing video, generated 23,000 uh, uh, ex people reached, over 10,000 views, 2,600 engagements with his content. This is insanely successful. Fun side note, we had a brand new agent in Calabasas, California, who uh, was going on her first listing appointment of her life, and she was scared to death. She had never done a real estate transaction. She was brand new. And she knew that the people were interviewing multiple agents and she knew one of them was from her office that was going to be interviewed. And he happened to be the number one producer, like an $80 million monster. And she knows she's not getting this deal. She just wants out of it. So we have her add this shtick to her uh, uh, regular listing presentation, if you will. And essentially it goes something like, listen, in my humble opinion, the most value a listing agent can bring to the table for their client is exposure for your home. Because let's face it, the more people we get to truly see and experience your home, the higher the odds are we're going to find that one perfect buyer. So in order to help people truly see and experience your home, we're going to do a virtual reality video like this one. <clears throat> and then I'm going to promote that video until I generate a minimum of 10,000 views on it. If you're thinking about using anybody else to list your home, I highly recommend that you check them out on Zillow, YouTube, Facebook, wherever they market, see what kind of exposure they get for their listings, or better yet, ask them what kind of exposure they're willing to guarantee you for your home. Knowing full well that nobody would ever guarantee anything so ludicrous. Long story short, as a $2.3 million listing and she got it. The 10,000 view video typically costs you about 100 bucks. Video views, if that's your objective, tend to run about a penny. You can drive them down to a quarter cent if you have good content, if you do things consistently. And if you mess up, you might spend two cents, but what's your downside? 200 bucks to promote a $2.3 million listing and generate 20,000 views. And by the way, once you do this a few times, and now you can put up posts and say that same kind of thing in your post. Hey, if you want your home marketed, if you want your home listed, there's about 5,000 listing agents within a stone's throw that would be happy to take your listing. But if you want it marketed, real marketing looks like this, blah, 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 blah. You're gonna get pummeled with people that wanna talk to you about your marketing plan for their home and how you're gonna get them that kind of exposure. This, 
this is a piece of cake. Here's Shelly's first video ever. Uh, uh, we have people do a lot of videos that have nothing to do with real estate. It's what makes people like you. We try to turn you into the digital mayor of your community. And so it tends to be a lot of community stuff. And here she's interviewing the snow cone man. And uh, by the way, she's in Bastrop, Texas. There's 9,000 people in Bastrop. She picks up 42,000 views on this video. She put a $25 budget behind it, only spent 12 of it. Uh, because Go, it, yeah, can shoot, I jump in. Jump in. So yeah. uh, just to give everybody else a little bit of um, something to, to compare this to, you, you, all of you guys on here, um, well, most of you know that Christina and I have done a lot of events together. And, you know, we were spending anywhere from $500 to $1,000 on Facebook to do an event. And that would get us anywhere from 10,000 to 12,000 um, uh, views, engagements. So we were spending almost 10 times the amount that Bill is talking about right now uh, for engagement to our, and I'm not talking about the people that were signing up. I'm talking about the people that were just actually looking at it and engaged with it. And honestly, Christina and I were just, you know, we were just befuddled because we, and that's the, that's the part I think that most of us have a really difficult time with Facebook is that there, you know, there's so many opinions and they just kind of leave it for you to figure it out. Um, you know, that some of the secrets that, that Bill has shared with me that he's going to share with you, he can't give you everything in one sitting, but we're going to be doing this once a week is, is going to help you from making a lot of the, uh, you know, <laughs> probably, um, you know, uh, to the tune of four or $5,000 worth of mistakes that we made last year. So I just want to, you know, give you guys some perspective on how powerful what he just told you is. You got to think about, well, here, I'll, I'll jump in there and back that one up there. Let's jump down. I'm not taking it through a whole PowerPoint today. I just have some graphics up. So I'm just going to click around instead of running it. Uh, here's Chris. Chris was an agent in a 13,000 home marketplace, uh, a little town called Anthem, Arizona. And... He was gonna launch his own company. Tried hard to talk him out of that. You don't want the hassles of running a company. Nope, he wanted to do it. So uh, the objective for him was make me the best known company in town. I wanna to be the best known at company of one. I wanna be the best known realtor in Anthem. So we gave him this little strategy of going out and doing community videos. So, yeah, I just want you to, all cell phone, quick, dirty, nothing took more than I think the longest video up here might be, you know, three minutes. Uh, I see one three minutes and 11 seconds. Oh, there's one that's four, that's a little long, but, but just quick, one take, leave in the ums and ahs. No fancy cameras, no lights, you don't need that. Uh, he liked to hold a microphone that had a flag, you know, like a newscaster, but plugged it right into his cell phone, that was it. And we gave him this very simple strategy of, look, you're gonna go meet every influencer in town. Everybody who owns a business, runs an organization, coach for the girls volleyball team at the high school whatever it is and you're gonna help them out and and you're gonna do this mainly because it's all about he or she with the most friends right it's about the most connections well when you go and you interview the owner of this you know salon and you uh, uh have a you know your phone on a little stand like the one behind me and it you're shooting a bit people are scared to death when they're on video it's the third biggest fear in the country and when people are scared they're very open and vulnerable it's an incredible bonding from a psychological standpoint you're helping them with their their cause their business their issue their whatever they're scared you're consoling them he shoots the interview with them puts it up and chris had a 25 dollars budget per video and his his plan called for three i'm going to do three videos a week and He'd go out and do six in an afternoon and I'd cover him for a couple of weeks. And he faded off after a while and didn't do quite that many. He ran out of people to do them for. Uh, but he did this for about a year and you can see that he's pulling down great viewership, you know, thousands of views on every one of his videos. But on top of that, he's like best friends with every influencer in town. 
every influencer, every business. These are the best people on the face of the planet to drive referrals back to you. And they, they have that reciprocity. They feel obligated. What can I do? How can I make it up? And man, Chris is their guy. Well, long story short, uh, he did 47 transactions the year before. The year after he started this, he did 192. He was averaging well over 20,000 views a month, uh, uh, 30,000 common, top 50,000 a couple months. And uh, there's only 13,000 homes. He was not just the best known real estate agent in his city, he was the best known citizen. And yeah, he went from a top five realtor to number one by a multiple over number two. And by the way, doesn't do this anymore. <laughs> Honestly, didn't do half the things he was supposed to do. But because he got the content, he got the exposure, he built all these relationships with all these people, uh, it just mushroomed. It just mushroomed for him and it took off. If you know how to do this stuff, it just works. But it's the content. Because at the end of the day, what you got to remember, here's my marketing plan for a third grader. I'm trying really hard to drive this home to people. Look. If you put up a video once a week, and it needs to be a video, I'm sorry, but if you put up a video once a week for others, when you're making this video, these are not meant to serve you. Stop talking about listings and real estate and CMAs and, and dual markets and whatever you want to talk about. You're putting this content up. It always has to have your branding. It always reminds them you're in the business. Hey, Bill, ABC Realty. Listen, today I'm here with... That's it, that's all it needs. Maybe a little brand watermark logo. I just gotta remind them what business you're in. But these videos are meant to make others enjoy them. Either the person in the video with me or the people that are receiving it or whoever. These videos, just gotta remember, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing these to give. You do that once a week. I try to get people to commit 100 bucks a week. If you'd put 100 bucks a week on it, you'd get between five and 20,000 views. You're gonna average over 10,000 views. And that's it. That's it, that's your nurture videos that keep you in front of them. Meanwhile, once every month or two, whenever you feel like it, you can put up a video for you, the business videos. And those, you can, and honestly, I've got some that are over a year old and we still use them. You can keep going back to them and using them over and over. And when you put those out, those harvest in the, call it the leads, but the new connections. And then you have to collect all the people who watch your videos. See, when somebody watches a video of you, you are very familiar to them, especially when it comes down to one of these once a month or every so often business videos. When they watch you talking about something real estate related, mortgage related, whatever, they, one, care about the topic, two, they like you. I want to market to people that are likely to do business with me. Well, if somebody watches your video, statistically speaking, they're 26 times more likely to do business with you than a stranger. They, they, they and I hear it all the time. People are always telling me, oh, no, I can't do video. I got a face for radio. I'm just, no, that's, no, no, no. The people that watch your videos like you, just like you are. Be authentic, be real. You'll find the ones that, that connect with you. But everybody who watches your video, everybody who engages with it, you can automatically draw them into your database, into an audience so that they now see your content moving forward consistently so that you can always be there so that when that zero moment of truth comes up, when they're ready to pick up the phone and call somebody, you're the person they know better than anybody else. So I grow my database by harvesting people I catch checking me out online. If you remember when you were young and single and it's like, what, what, what? Was that guy checking me out across the room? If you remember, and yeah, the one you had the best shop with was the one you caught checking you out. Well, these are the people you just caught checking you out online. They're the ones that like you 26 times more than the average person. They're the perfect people to hit over and over and over. And this is your plan. I put up one video a week. I put a little money behind it strategically. That's it. And then from time to time, whenever I want, I put out my business bit, my listing videos, my other stuff. Those can go out. But I got to have one nurture video uh, uh, a week. And that's your business plan. And guys, the videos, the videos are a piece of cake. It could be like Chris doing those interviews or uh, uh, I love Aaron Alvarez because he's so authentic. I mean, look at him. He's in T-shirts and golf shirts. and He's got his Yeti in his hand and, and he just gets it. Uh, uh, he's just so authentic and likable. 
overwhelming majority of his content is about restaurants. He likes restaurants. All his market updates are all from restaurants and 90, 95% of the video is about the food and the restaurant owner and all that kind of stuff. And then the November market update, it's got a picture of a hamburger or something, fries. That's, that's because that's food is the most popular content type on Facebook, my two to one over anything else. And that goes up. And then he goes out and does listing videos with all his agents uh, uh, and puts a little money up behind him, gets a lot of exposure, slips in some, you know, occasional mortgage videos. That kind of stuff just works. Here, I got to launch this one so you can actually see it. Uh, let me see if that'll come off. Yep, there we go. So this is Tanya. Uh, uh, love, love this post. And you can see cell phone, amateur, simple. Uh, she puts this post up and it breaks every rule of video. Uh, uh, it's too dark. There's a window in the background. Now all she does is she says, hey, everybody, we're having a fun little contest. Anybody who takes one of our red Solo cups with my logo on it, and post it, a picture of it is entered into a contest for dinner for two to the Roadhouse Cinemas and a $300 donation to the charity of your choice. Uh, uh, and everything she does, everything she does is all about dogs and cats and charity. And everybody knows her, every animal lover in Tucson, Arizona knows Tanya. Well, she puts that up, uh, uh, puts a, I, I wanna say a $50 boost on it. You can see it gets 7,700 views, might have been 25 bucks. 7,700 views, but what happens next is the amazing part. The, that solo cup, it went to Hong Kong, Tokyo, Paris, London, Grand Canyon, skydiving, uh, uh, <laughs> Coachella. Uh, uh, people are playing beer pong with it, photoshopping it, the beaches, everywhere you can imagine. Now we're talking about hundreds of thousands of views, not even thousands or tens of thousands probably over a million by the time it's done. And everybody who posted one of these, friends for life. Tanya's not just their agent, she's their friend. They love her, they are referral sources. This is killer, killer content. That's the kind of stuff that works. This is my personal favorite post. Closing gifts, we always try to get people to do this. On every buy side closing, no matter what, you always give a gift to the client and you always shoot a video of the gift presentation and put it up. And it's hard to get people to do this, but Giovanna did. And the process is really simple. If you want to get specific, yeah, you show up at the closing, you leave the gift. And I like a gift with a photo of the house, oil painting, 75 bucks online or photo cake, 24 bucks at Walmart. The cakes are awesome, by the way, they get the most comments. You leave that out in the lobby. You go in, say your hello. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I just want to stop in, make sure everything, you know, do the warm up and just, and then ask just like this. Hey, listen, I got a little present for you out in the lobby. I'm going to go grab. Would you mind if I film that for my Facebook gallery? And it's pretty much impossible for people to say, uh, no, you go get my present, but there will be no filming. This gets everybody to agree. And then you set your phone up in your little selfie pole stand like this. And it's got a little Bluetooth remote that'll start and stop your video. This is how I do all my videos, by the way. A little selfie bowl, set it up, click, blah, 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 click, boom, done. Don't even have to edit it that way. I don't have to trim the ends or anything. So set that up, go out, grab the cake, come walk it in with the cake. And you do two things when you give them the cake. First, you say some really nice stuff about them because reciprocity will kick in and they'll say really nice stuff back about you. Oh, I just love working with you guys. I can make friends for life. You're the best. Oh, you're the best agent ever. And then you're going to deliver your call to action. You're gonna lean the cake forward for the camera and you're gonna say, take a look at that. Isn't that incredible? If you know Shaylee and Kyle, reach out and congratulate them on their new home. Or if you happen to live in Lake Forest, whatever, uh, uh, reach out and say hi to your new neighbors. You got some great ones. And that's it, call to action. Now, you're gonna take that video. Again, you don't need professional video, you don't need editing. Forget all those people that talk about lights and green screens and cameras. No, forget it, not necessary. In fact, it can hurt you. Just make sure it's good, clean video with decent audio, but mainly it's the content. So now you're gonna take that video and you're gonna post it to your business page. Always post your business page first. Now you can share it down to your personal profile. You can also share it directly to your client's profile. You have to become friends. You better be friends with them. That's 
you need to go to the remedial class if you don't know that. Friends with everybody. So I'm friends with them so I can share it straight to their timeline. Because I posted it to my business page where I put some budget on it, and I always try people for the closing videos, put 100 bucks minimum, please. You should put 250 because it's the cheapest business you'll ever get. But put 100 bucks on it. Facebook has to spend your money getting views. Well, when you share it to their profile, to their timeline, what's going to happen? Well, 16% of their friends are going to see it, right, on average? But their friends are going to engage with it and go, oh my gosh, congratulations on the new home. Yummy, delicious house. When are we coming over for cake? The cake gets a lot of comments. And Facebook's going to go, oh, look, we got a rich vein of engagement. Let's show it to all their friends. And let's hit the friends of their friends. And pretty soon, not just everybody they're friends with on Facebook, but the friends of their friends, everybody they went to high school with, went to college with, used to go to church with, they used to work with at the old job, play softball with, everybody they've ever met is seeing this video. And what's happening in this video? They're endorsing and loving on their agent. They're in this video, they hug their agent and she does a little happy dance and they're, marketing's all about emotion. There's no need and no room for logic and marketing. All I ever want for my clients is, yeah, refer me, but they don't know how to refer. They don't know when people are. They remember, they can't remember your name after 12 months. And they only see 5% of their friends every year anyway. They know all these people that they just don't see all the time to refer you. But right now, Giovanna put 50 bucks on this, cheaped out on me, should have put 100. She gets 12,000 views on this video and gets a slew of warm referrals out of it because everybody that her clients know see them love it on their realtor, happy, saying nice stuff. They're endorsing their agent to everybody they ever met. You just got referred to everybody they know and anybody they know that's looking or thinking about looking or dealing with an agent they don't like. Uh, yeah, they love their agent. It's clear. I want to I wanna have an agent that I'm friends with for life. This, this is the most powerful post you'll ever do. I did a training on this topic uh, uh, not long ago. And a few days later, I saw uh, that somebody had tagged me in a post. And this post is what I found when I clicked on that. Hey, just want to give everybody a heads up. I did that video thing Bill was talking about, boosted it for a hundred bucks. I have 5,800 views so far, three new leads. One is a full pre-approval with the 750 credit score and a 38 DPI. I can't believe you skipped their qualifications on here. But I thought, wow, that's cool. I love it when somebody actually follows through and does something. And he's already got three warm referrals. These aren't leads. These are warm connections. And I went to look at the post to see what he did. And he, look, there it is, cell phone. He didn't even turn his phone on its side. Shoots a cell phone video, puts it up of the client getting the gift. He didn't use a photo gift like I suggested. Skipped probably nine out of ten things. But at least he shot the video and put the money on it. And then I looked and saw that his views were up to 36,888. I have no idea how many referrals it had turned into, but these, see, these are videos for others. They're about huge congrats to this awesome mom of the year, United States veteran, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for your service. Congrats on your new home. If you know, please welcome her into your new home. Perfect post, perfect post. If you did this on every buy side closing, you would double your business. You would pick up a couple new deals out of every one of them. It just works. And wow, think if he had put 250 bucks on it. Think if he had done the video the way he was supposed to do it. But it doesn't matter. He did it. It works. This stuff just works. And the truth is, you don't have to get that fancy. You don't have to... I hear people all the time saying, oh, no, no, I can't. Uh, no, Bill, I can't do video. Let this me jump in there, back. Bill. What so was that? For, I said, I'm going to jump in there real quick. So oh, yeah. I was telling you, Bill and I had a mentoring session last night. And, you know, he showed me this treasure trove of information that he's been, you know, collecting over the last few decades. I'm not kidding you. It'll give you, it'll make your head hurt just looking at this, at it. But. I mean, most of us have a hard time with video because we don't know what to say, right? It's like, what, what, where am I, what, what am I supposed to say? What are, I, you know, I don't even know where to begin. And he showed me this unbelievable list of topics that you can do a video on, you know, um, 
whether it's you know a video about your market or whether it's a video when you're interviewing somebody whether it's questions you want to ask them so he's given me this stuff and i obviously want to share it with all of you guys um my goal is i want to just make you fabulously successful <laughs> Because if, 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 and through with Bill's help, if I can make you fabulously successful, I will be incredibly happy. Nobody's asking you for money, but I'm telling you, if you don't at, at least take some action here, all of this that you're watching right now will have gone for nothing. You have to be willing to take the action. Are you gonna show them some of those questions, Bill? Yeah, it should be up on your screen now. Um, uh, this is the document I, I just opened it up i forgot about this that uh it's a work in progress i'm trying to it's, it's turning it into a booklet more than a document but i start off with what types of videos whether i want to do live interviews virtual interviews which is you know my favorite probably right now it is my favorite because you can do them on zoom you don't want to go out and be with people you, you know social separation whatever well, uh, great, virtual, vit, virtual interviews are killing it. I'll show you some examples. Field videos, talking heads, screen share, you can do any of these types. And then I have some more instruction. And then we get down to these are the best channels. If you're gonna put up a channel and you're gonna do stuff recurring, like Chris Prickett, one more reason I love living in, uh, uh, you know, whatever, uh, Irvine, uh, uh, local business interviews, local, these are all your channel ideas. If you want to try channels and then non area specific, if you prefer not to geographically limit yourself, uh, interview videos, shout out or accolade videos. These are unbelievably effective. And now the right hooks. And I call them right hooks because of the uh, jab, 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 right hook analogy, uh, a title from Gary Vaynerchuk, and that the jabs are there to keep the other fighter off balance. The right hooks are what knock them out. I try to get you to put up 80% of your content are jabs. They're there to be consumed and enjoyed, but every now and then it's time to sell. So when you go to sell, these, it explains what kind of headlines work and what kind of, top, but these are the topics you want. And these are the ones that will sell. And I've got them for mortgage, I've got them for real estate. I've got quizzes, there's your real estate ads. Don't just put up your listings, put up listing stories. And then lead magnets or calls to action. What's going to get them to reach out to you and connect with you? What can they get? What can they download? Uh, and yeah, all this stuff is here. Barry has it. Absolutely, Barry. Feel free to share it. Uh, uh, and, and he's linked to my Dropbox, so he'll get my edits because this is what I'm working on right now, trying to give people specific titles and headlines. Uh, uh, he also has access to all these tutorial videos and whatnot that I've done on everything from shooting 360 tours to, uh, and please don't ever waste your money on things like Matterport videos and stuff without you in it. Breaks my heart when I see that. You paid how much? And you're not even in the video? The goal is to brand you. Uh, uh, but yeah, all these resources are there and available. And you know, what you know, I was talking about, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I, because we're, you know, I know that your time's valuable and everybody else, what I'd like to do is, um, Maybe we could um, give everybody a, a, a little bit of homework. Um, I'm going to send them this document um, and um, okay, maybe, maybe ask them to uh, find a topic and find somebody. I just uh, interviewed Stefan Redrick with our you know, financial partner w during Zoom. Um, I, I interviewed Aaron Tucker. Um, I'm, I, I'm trying to interview uh, Matt with Brew right now. Um, there's plenty of people that you guys could try and do a Zoom meeting with and promote over the next week. And then next week, what we can focus on is, is, is getting organic and showing you how to, to throw some money on this and, and how to, you know, because one of the cool things about Bill is that not, he's only scratched the tip of the iceberg here, guys. It, you know, paying for this, these, um, here's a, a mistake Christina and I were making was that we were paying all this money for people to see our, our events and our ads, but we weren't doing anything with that information after other than, you know, we were sending them emails or whatever, but 
there's an, you have the ability to create audiences and to anytime somebody looks at your page, you can go in there and you can capture that person's information and make sure that anytime you do a video, they're going to see it again. And it, it winds up bringing your costs way down. So we can drill into so that. Let me, let me, wait, wait, let's not move past that yet, Barry, because that okay. one is critically important. Because I see a lot of people that go out and just boost or use the boost button, whatever, and they get a lot of views. But they, uh, again, I'm not building an audience. I'm not building a database. So here's an example of a new client that just started getting rolling. And when I can't get somebody to shoot a video, sometimes I'll just interview them. So I pulled out my cell phone and interviewed them. And then we drove, as you can see, about 20,000 views to this. He does reverse mortgages and, and financial planning. So uh, we put up a video about uh, reverse mortgage strategies most people have never heard of. And then another one, you know, part two of the interview. And look, this one's 12 minutes and that one's 20 minutes. And then a bunch of short ones. But here's what we did is we promoted that content and anybody who watches those videos and look at this um reverse through play viewers these are people who uh, a through play is a algorithm based thing but they had to have clicked through and watched a significant portion of the video at least 15 seconds blah 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 you got four thousand people four thousand people that have clicked through oh i'm interested in that and they've watched some material portion of that and he's super familiar to him, and now he's an authority to him. And now they see all of his posts, all of his, his weekly. Remember, the weekly is the key, but the sell videos, the, the monthly or however often, it doesn't matter how often you do them, because like I said, you can use the same one over and over. The sales videos, that's the top of funnel. That sucks them into where they've now watched that video and, and are in your audience. Uh, uh, I, I can show you example after example after example, but anybody who watches your video, three seconds, 10 seconds, through plays, whatever I want, anybody that engages with my video, anybody that messages me, all those things can be captured. So when we're putting out your content, we're collecting those, and those are the ones that we make sure see you every single week. The rest of it, that's grow. There's only two functions, grow, nurture. Grow my connections, nurture my connections. You're making a connection when they watch you, and then you're nurturing it by staying in front of them until they're ready to reach out to you for real. Because once they're in your audience, now you can be in their feed as consistently as their best friend. They'll see you all the time. They'll they'll start to think they know you, even though they've never met you. That's what makes this stuff so effective and makes it work so well is yeah i put up something like this how to do a virtual home showing and it's just a quick look homemade video shot on my i couldn't use my cell phone <laughs> use my laptop because i was using my cell phone in the demo but look at that i put that up and i got 2313 views on it and i probably generate i don't know between 2300 here let's just see look at my you can see my budget i put ten dollars on each one of my my regular posts and then I put big money on on them when I'm ready to go big so like this one I put 700 bucks on but this is 10 10 10 10 and yet how many people did I reach 2000 2900 2600 1400 1900 how many video views and I'm running a penny a video view just straight up my lead gen runs me 10 cents so it costs me 10 cents to get the ones that I'm actually pulling leads out of but guys I you know uh, I get hundreds of thousands of video views a month and I don't really have anything to sell. I just do videos with clients that I can't get to shoot a video or I do videos post to test things or in this era, I'm pushing out just a bunch of tutorials to the world just to help people with how to do this stuff. This stuff works. So back to Barry's statement on homework. Here's homework item number one. Yeah, that's is what one I of the biggest to get to right here is I wanted you to give them, um, show them how to how to create followers within a few minutes and, uh, yep. and and give them the homework maybe of shooting a video and then we'll get granular next week and actually you show them it. how to how to you know capitalize on all this. So did this with Barry when I met him a few weeks back. 
uh, uh, most people, I don't know about you guys, do like Aaron here, the picture that I have up. Aaron had been working on his page for a while and he was trying to do everything right because he went to some training and he was trying to do it all organic. But the problem was the only way he knew to get his friends to follow his page was begging. You get those posts just about every day. Somebody, so and so wants you to like their page and begging is not the secret. And so after a year plus, he had 130 followers, showed up to a workshop, left with 2,202 followers. Most people don't realize you can instantly convert all of your friends on a profile into followers on a new Facebook page. There's a little hidden tool called a migration manager in Facebook. Barry has a tutorial document on how to do it, or you can hop on a screen share with him and he can walk you through it and actually do it for you. But in five minutes, you can have a page up and everybody you know follows it. And Facebook will give you a two week grace period in which all of the new friends you make for the next couple of weeks, you can pull them over into followers as well. So I always try to send people out on a, go on a friend bender, send out 50 invites a day, that's your limit and, and target whoever you wanna target, but grow your base because now you're gonna have a page like Barry does. Don't you have like almost 2000 followers on your new page, Barry? Yeah, I had um, I had like 280 followers on um, my my page and um, or on my um, my personal uh, page and Bill helped me yeah. create a page for me personally as a public figure and within about an hour after doing it I had over 1,800 followers who also were had were 1,800 page likes on a brand new page. I just created an hour before that, yep. immediately 1,800 page likes and 1,800 followers. So I, I have the, docu the, the document that will show you guys how to do that. Um, Bill Christina says, and um, I, I, I don't wanna answer for you, so I'll let you uh, say it. Okay. Christina says, when I boost videos for $100, we get a reach of about 1,500 which is way less than the videos you're doing. Why would that be? Because you use the boost button instead of the ad manager. What you wanna do is anytime you're going to, you put up your post, but now instead of hitting the boost button, you're gonna come into your ad manager and when you're in ad manager here, let it load. And this, we'll get way more granular on this the next time around, because there's three kinds of posts, three kinds of boost. There's grow, nurture, or uh, uh, social validation. Social validation is I just want big numbers. I don't care who the numbers come. When you put up a listing video and you want 10,000 views, I just want big views. So now when I'm in here, if I say create, the first thing Facebook does is ask me what's the objective of this post. And, and <laughs> this is where it gets fun. If you wanna generate leads and you say lead generate, trust me, whatever you tell them you want, they're gonna deliver. But if you want video views, you click on video views and say next, and then you choose an existing post, now you're gonna get the video views. The audiences matter too. In real estate these days, you're kinda of limited because of the special ad categories. You can only market to, I think, a 25 mile radius. We'll show you how to get around that too. I don't want to get too granular, but at the very least, if you come in here, you choose video views as the objective, make sure your audience is big enough, you'll run about a penny of view for your video views. This, um, and by the way, this is something that, you know, um, I think now in hindsight, Christina, if you remember last year, we were rocking, you know, from April until about August. And that's when all of a sudden Facebook came up with this new special ad category thing. Right and every time I would run an ad, they would flag me and say, no, nope, we're not going to do it. So I started boosting and I was getting away with it more often, but the cost per lead uh, was going way up. And we started not getting as great of a uh, response. We couldn't figure it out. Is it, because of the marketing or is it be, was it because maybe it was saturated or you know and now in hindsight from you know what bill told me is that facebook treats boosts differently than they do um, ads so um that was part of the problem 
Um, but you don't have the audiences, you don't have the targeting, you don't have the objectives, you don't have the reporting. Uh, I still have people use the boost button just because it's easier on occasion for certain things to make it easy on them, but you're always better off doing it this way. And by the way, when you look at my lead cost during that same time frame, it dramatically fell after they implemented all that stuff because there's, there's just better targeting techniques. And by the way, like I showed you the reverse mortgage stuff, you're like, well, how do you target there? Because if any, anybody under 62 can't do a reverse mortgage. Well, we put out educational content that is clearly not solicitational. We can't have message me or call me or anything like that in there. It just says, reach out to your local provider. We push that. When people watch that, we scoop them into an audience. That's a custom audience. I can hit those custom audiences uh, with any content I want then. So there's the harvesting and then there's the nurture. The nurture is where you can then solicit or do whatever. And that's where your targeting comes from. And that makes it so, so, so much more effective. Also, Bill, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, the other thing Bill told me is that when you create a page in the way that, um, you know, uh, that I, I will be happy to send you guys the instructions on doing. Migration. Then, yeah, when you do that, when you create a page using migration um, and then you start, you know, putting up content on there like videos and boosting it, Facebook gives you a lot of love. So way more people are going to see it because they know that you have a brand new page and they want to give you a lot of love that way. So I, 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 I created the page. I haven't used it yet because I still need to finish it off with all the finishing touches, but that's on my plate this week is to uh, finish off that page that already has, you know, 2000, uh, almost 2000 likes and, and 2000 followers and start advertising on that this weekend. Yeah, they, they give it, they, they want to create the addiction. So where you've only been reaching 16% of your friends, suddenly you're going to reach 80, 90, hundred percent of them. And it's going to blow you away because you've got all these contacts out there that know you, they're just stagnant. You know, they, they you're, you're not top of mind with them and suddenly bam, you're back in front of them. But then when you put up on top and they'll do that organically, but on top of that, you put a little budget behind it. And that's where they start hitting the friends of friends. And my third most common testimonial is is I just got a deal from somebody I haven't seen in 20 years that I went to high school or college or whatever knew back when and I'm not even friends with them on Facebook people are constantly getting deals called by somebody that they knew once upon a time in a different life and they just have and, and they're like, oh look it's Barry I haven't seen him oh my god Barry's a little I'm gonna and and people like to work with somebody familiar they seem to get off on calling somebody they knew way back when and catching up and having them represent them it, it always, it just always, always generates a bunch of instant love. So step one is you're going to migrate a page. Step two, you're going to take that content planning document that I just had up that Barry can get you. And you're going to come up with a content plan. And it's got a little section there. You got to, what am I going to post? What am I going to post? And it's got some questions for you to ask. You know, do I have, am I going to do these solo or with somebody? It's always great when you have two people. Am I going to do, you know, talking head sitting at my computer? Or am I going to go out? Am I going to, but come up with a plan. Say, yep, yep, that's it. I can do four of those a month. And you can do them all at once. And by the way, right now, the one that I'm seeing the most come out of by far, I got a bunch of people doing these and they are killing it which is remember videos for, with, and about others are the best. So what they're doing, Todd Bookspan in Phoenix, Arizona, is out shooting uh, or is home shooting. His goal is 25 videos this week. And I'm dying to see if he pulls it off, but he literally picked out 25 businesses that he wanted to support in well, forever Phoenix resident. And so his whole angle on this is, Let's keep these guys in business. I don't, I don't want to come out of this at the other end and be missing Tico's Tacos, my favorite taco place. So he reached out to all these businesses and said, hey, I want to do what I can to help. I want to uh, uh, drive some publicity and get you some exposure and, and try to get my friends to go see you. Let's hop on a Zoom. I want to, and 
He hops on his, and that's what he's doing all week this week. He was going to do his 25 short, sweet, don't ramble on like Barry and I do. We're both chronic ramble. No, no, no. Three minute video. Just, you know, hey, da, 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 da. we're trying to do a, one of the things I'm doing uh, is I'm picking up dinner or having it delivered from Tico's Tacos tonight. It's my favorite. Da, da, da. I got to make sure that Tico's is still there when this is over because I couldn't live uh, out his mango terlingua tacos, whatever. Uh, 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 Tico, so if somebody wants to support you, what can they do? Well, we're doing takeout, we're doing delivery, whatever, and, and, and gift certificates. And by the way, guys, gift certificates are one of the best ways to pay it forward. I bought several of them from Tico. As a matter of fact, whoever puts the coolest post for Tico, the best endorsement in the comments, I'm going to send you one of these $20 gift certificates I bought from Tico, no matter what. No matter what, even if you're afraid to get out and pick up some tacos or you're all stocked up on tuna, whatever, and at least hit that share button. No matter what, hit that share button. That's, that's what Todd's doing. He's just, and it's not just restaurants, it's the dry cleaner, the whatever. He's reminding people about the local businesses that are still open that need help so they can stay open. And he's bonding with these people one-on-one. -on -one. All these people are becoming a close personal friend. But everybody who loves Tico's Tacos now loves Todd, loves Todd. And they're all hitting share. And they're all commenting. And they're all saying what their favorite dish is. And they're all doing. And that's all he's doing is he's just trying to help out in the community. And he opens with, you know, hey, Todd, blah, 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 ABC Realty. Uh, 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 all right, here's, here's what we're doing to help out through the crisis today. And then he's just, he's going to post one of the, one of those videos. And I got a lot of people doing those, that group in Austin, killing it, killing it with the videos, just trying to help out local businesses. Nothing builds your brand faster. So that, that's one suggestion that's in that document. You can pick out any of them. There's so many ideas in there and they're all proven. They all work. Uh, uh, Pick out, just pick one thing and commit that, yes, I'm going to shoot a video and I'm going to put it up and, and then I make you commit to a budget. And I'm going to commit to a budget. I'm going to put 25 bucks. I'm going to put 100 bucks, whatever. Uh, I have a six-week program coming up that I'm doing for a big group of people. Making them commit. Uh, actually, it's 1,500 bucks for the class. We gave them back 750 to spend on themselves. You have to commit to 750 because I know that 750 will be 75,000 views or 50 to 100,000 views. And I know it will generate a whole bunch of business. Once you start, you're there. So migrate a page and make a content plan. Next week, we'll show you what to do with the content, how to get the views. How about that's that, Barry? Was that enough of that, a... That's awesome. Guys, I just want to thank everybody from coming, for coming. I want to thank Bill for uh, doing this. And I just want to say that, um, you know, the world is changing right now. You know, we're in a situation where we have to, um, you know, quarantine ourselves. There's a real good chance that it's not going to ever be the same again. I think the economy is going to come back very strong. But I also think that this kind of push started us to all do things um, virtually. So really... Uh, understanding and grasping this and and making the most out of this little snapshot in time is going to uh, make you a better agent later um, even when we get back to where you know we're doing open houses regularly and we're all going to restaurants and movies and all that stuff if you can own this space right now you're gonna wind up being super successful so thank you so much for coming Bill thank you so much buddy for uh, My pleasure. Yes, and folks, we will uh, we'll see you all uh, next week. All right. Have a great day. Finish up that page, Barry. I want to launch it. Let's you make an example next week. Yes, this week. I'll, and I'll I'll I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll also record while I'm doing it to show everybody. Beautiful. Love it. See you Thanks, guys. guys. Good luck. Hope to see you back at some more of these. Yes. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Barry. Bye for now.